So, what are we doing here in Weimar, California? If that's how you pronounce it, or is it Weimar? We have no idea, and there's no way to find out because I don't care to go on the internet and find out. Would be no way of knowing. Weimar. But what are we doing today? We are reviewing some shoes from Eddie Bauer. Live your adventure. So we're gonna try out these shoes. We're gonna hike all over Weimar and I'm gonna show you how beautiful all of the... <laughs> Take two. How beautiful all of the manzanita groves are and all the little features that this community offers to hikers. If you happen to live nearby here, which probably you don't. You can, of course, hike in anything you're wearing. You could hike in sandals, you can hike with your bare feet, although I do not recommend that. But hiking is, like most other sports, a fairly dangerous thing to do by yourself, and it's good to be well equipped. So it's important to have a lot of gear, as you can see, most of mine being snacks that I just bought at the country store. But here are my new Eddie Bauer. Who's in my what's it's? Right away I notice that because these were only available in a men's 9M and not in the tiny shoe size that I wear, which is apparently eight and a half, uh, that they're a little loose. Although I believe I'm gonna be able to tighten them up pretty well and get away with it. These are pretty decent. I don't believe they're offered in half sizes, so this is likely the closest that I could get. Weimar University here, or Weimar Institute, is a church and its campus, and it is a sect of Christianity called the Seventh-day Adventists, I believe, or at least they believe that the Sabbath is on Saturday, which for us means nobody's here because today is Sunday. Let's have a keto monk pack snack thing. So here you can see on their campus, is the start of this run, or walk, or hike, or whatever it is. And the red trail takes us on a 10K, where the blue trail is only 5K. So we're going on the red trail today, of course. Very windy today. I don't know how I've gotten lost this time. It's a little bit strange. I'm here all the time. I think I was meant to go up one more building. Nope. Well then. Here's the Bymar Market, which I believe would be open, except that it's Sunday. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Don't know why I didn't see this. It does seem like they built some new things. Remember, pack it in, pack it out. You don't leave candy wrappers on other people's property or on just beautiful property that belongs to everybody. It's a truly, truly beautiful place that I love to visit. I'm laden like a mule with all of these accessories. Every vlogger out there nodding, yep. Tripod across your back and 50 pounds worth of God knows what that you never use for your GoPro. <laughs> really glad we bought that really light, small camera. Here's the first door floating above the ground. This door is always open and it's just doing nothing. It's very confusing to me why this is around here. Especially since this is in California. Just a door to nowhere. If you jumped out of that, you would not be happy about it.
Here are a bunch of tombstone looking marble carvings with uh, a lot of information about what they believe and some supporting Bible verses and what have you. Those are placed uh, throughout the trail so that you can read them all as you walk. Beautiful sun coming through the trees. <laughs> Could I have said that any more boring? Look, neat, the sun, light, does the thing. Very comfortable so far. They're not shifting around on my feet. The fit is pretty decent. These Vibram soles are very hard. It's decent rubber. And we'll see how good they are at climbing pretty soon here. If you'll pardon the pun, I'm trying to shoehorn facts about these shoes into this video so that I can ostensibly make a review of them. But. Mostly I just came to hike and bring you with me. I can't think of too many better ways to spend a Sunday. Of course, for those of you so inclined, you should go to church or on Saturday. I would like for somebody to explain to me exactly what is the issue? Why is it important whether the Sabbath is on a Saturday or a Sunday. I think if you take a day every week to rest, that's the spirit of the Sabbath. The letter, who knows? I don't know if Saturday is Saturday. It's not worth splitting a church over. And here's the first time we fork off. Get it? No, it's so stupid. And here's our first fork from the 5K up here, up to the uh, up to the 10K. And away we go. I believe this leads into the Manzanita Grove here. Ah, beautiful. Where was I even going without my camera? You have to love shots like this because is it candid, right? Like you're over there watching the person walk from here. Well, then why do I conspicuously have a GoPro mount on my chest? What was I doing two seconds ago? Yeah, you're savvy. Come with me. Hopefully I'm not one of those loud chewers because I am eating my lunch on the go here as we march through the Manzanita Grove. I love Manzanita. The wood is so strong and gorgeous. And it's just, uh, I love the way that the, well, it's not happening here, but I love the way the bark flakes off. And they're so deep red and purple. It's very hard wood to use at a camp if you try and whittle it or burn it. Don't worry, folks. We'll scrape some satisfying bark off of Manzanita. Follow the Red Arrow Road. Follow the Red Arrow Road. Wild grapes just out here in the middle of nowhere. All told, I think it's only six and a half miles down the red trail, but really worth it if you live within an hour. It's just beautiful. And today's such an amazing day with the wind. The temperature's great. It's always nice here in Auburn.
There you are, people who love light rays coming through stuff. Beef stick time. Ah, oh, good. A bench. A huge, huge bench for tiny people. Personally, I appreciate the lack of guardrails on everything. And a beautiful outdoor arena. Love it with a little stage, all kinds of stuff. Big rope swing, um, yeah, I'm afraid we're gonna be doing that. Yeah, I don't know the age of this tree. I don't know how much bite that swing is meant to hold. I'll still send you guys on it though, how's that? All right, you ready, you guys? Here goes the swing. Where are you going? Oh, you need to push? All right. This is some camp mess over here, I'll show you. There's chesty, the GoPro mount. There's a bunch of honey roasted peanuts I shouldn't be eating because I'm trying to be keto. Here's my bag with two things of water. Yummy Rockstar lemonade. I sound more and more like. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is his name? And there's the swing you all went on moments ago. Which I'm a little afraid to go on. This definitely seems like something I should not be doing. I don't need any cracking. It seems very good. If it drops me to the ground, I'll be sure to run immediately. It is really, really delightful, the simple pleasure of being in a rope swing after all these years. <laughs> all the stuff God created before he rested on which day? Well, we know which day. The seventh day. We're gonna get in trouble for fighting about it more than that. We're gonna seem very silly.
Well, we did it. My watch tells me that we've only gone five and a half miles, not six and a half. So it's not really 10K. Uh, I don't know where I should have been on the red trail that I wasn't. They need to learn to mark these trails. Perhaps some signs fell over. Need to be put back, I don't know. But it's a fun walk, that's for sure. So, what's the verdict on these Eddie Bauer? What you call it that I'm gonna have to dub in later? <laughs> They're great. They look a little funny. I like the orange contrast. Uh, there are other colors. Your socks disappear in them if you wear a no-show socks, so you know, be careful about that. Uh, you know, overall, they were very good. They stayed tight on my feet. They wore well, comfortable, great traction. I think that I will uh, hang on to them and definitely use them again. Thanks to Eddie Bauer, not for sponsoring me because nobody's watching my video and they didn't, uh, but just for making excellent product like these First Ascent shorts that also wear very well and I highly recommend. Well, pardon my helmet hair. Thanks for coming along with me to do this and uh, you know, maybe we'll do more of it. I don't know what we'll do. So now I'm gonna go home. Will you come with me? Why, do you live at my house? <laughs>